Hello, one and all. How's it going today? Did I actually? Yes, I did hit record. Um, yeah, so today what I wanted to do was kind of give you a bit of a um, update with my professional and my personal life. Um, do a little bit of that and then tell you a little bit about what's coming, what I'm working on for YouTube and stuff like that as well. So, um, first, I've been reading through my um, old uh, Hank Bradshaw mysteries, my hard-boiled detective. And as you can see, this book here um, is when I had, um, I was using my pseudonym, my nom de plum, um, Mick Hunter. And then somebody, and I just seriously, I'm like, oh, okay, it's like uh, Mickey Spillane and Hunter from the TV show. I could do that. And then this guy's like, hey, why do you have to like be all anti-Irish? And I'm like, huh? And he's like, yeah, that name's kind of uh, off-putting for Irish folk. And um, <clears throat> and then I'm like, well, me being someone who has Irish in me, um, I do not find offense in it. But anyway, so um, I read Dead Dame Walking again because I haven't read this pretty much since I wrote it. And I'm going through the short stories right now, the Dead Dame on the Floor, and then I'm going to be going into Dead Dame in a Trunk. Because um, I'm working on um, the next Hank Bradshaw novel. And um, I want to go through these and make sure that um, I don't F up any continuity things. Kind of like Robert E. Howard did with The Devil and Iron, if you saw that video. Um, because that was a bit of a pisser. Um, that kind of put a bit of a, a little something under my, my thing, if you know what I mean. Um, you're like, no, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You're speaking in riddles, weird one. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And um, if you go to Amazon and go to my author page on Amazon... Um, all my books are back up there now. Um, I had taken them down uh, a while back um, for a couple different reasons. None of them are good. So if I could give you any advice, um, writers out there, don't take your books down. Just leave them up. If I had never touched any of the books that I had up on Amazon... Um, I would be doing a lot better now. Um, so that's just one of those learn from my mistakes, um, do as I say, not as I do, that kind of crap. Um, <clears throat> and then with that being said, um, I don't know exactly how this is going to work yet. And I toyed with it a little, I, like toyed talking to you about it um, a bit ago where um, I said I was thinking about doing that whole join thing on YouTube, but I would only do it if there was something that made me feel like I was giving value to people other than the stuff I would normally do on here. So I think what I'm going to be doing on um, the join function with YouTube or whatever, at least now... Um, like the idea is um, doing like writing streams and things of that nature. Um, so you could kind of watch my process if that is at all interesting to you. Um, some of you might be going, God, that sounds fucking awful. And you're probably right. But, um, you know, we're not going to know until we... Um, Hop on the mattress, so they say. You know what I'm saying. So that's how that's going to work. Um, 
second, as far as like channel content goes, um, I put together a, and I talked about this a while back and nothing came of it because which I'll get into in a minute happened, but, um, I'm going to be doing, um, reviewing, um, Bukowski stuff, which we had talked about before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through his chapbooks as well as his published stuff. Now, I don't have all of his chapbooks. Um, in fact, I don't have any of his chapbooks. Um, they go for a pretty penny on the interwebs. But um, thanks to amazing, amazing websites like Bukowski.net, um, I at least know what was in all of his chat books and I could piece together um, what things were released and what based on the Bukowski stuff I have and that information. So um, hopefully sometime this week, it'll either be Thursday or Friday. Um, I'll put up the first video for that. I've done, I've done all the research and now I just have to do the video. But it'll be for um, Flower Fist and Bestial Whale, which was um, his first um, chapbook release. So um, that should be fun. That should be fun. And I will tell you all the books to pick up if you want to um, read along um, or read those poems and stuff like that. So that's that. And now this last bit, um, I kind of don't even want to talk about it, but I'm going to say just a little bit. Um, for those of you who know me well, and even for those of you who know me sort of well, and have known me over the years, when things get tough for me, I typically crawl in a hole and don't come out until I'm feeling better. And so I'll be on here like every other day talking, doing videos, doing the whole thing. And then um, some stuff happens and then just no one will hear from me. And I'll just like vanish off the face of the earth for like months at a time. Okay. So for those of you who've been around, you know that that is something that I have done here and there. Um, and... I'm doing a lot better now. I'm doing really, really good. But there was um, a period there where um, I was going through some life changes and um, it was pretty heavy stuff, okay? And for a lot of you, I haven't spoken with you since then. Um, there's some people who here on YouTube that I was very, very close with, who I haven't spoken to in months. And it's not because I'm like dodging you or anything like that. It's just because this is how I process my stuff and different people do things in different ways. Um, and I guess the only reason, and so basically, what I'm saying is, for those of you who have reached out to me, I appreciate the fact that you've reached out to me. It does mean a lot to me, really. It really does. Now, for those of you who have reached out to me who I have not responded to, um, I apologize for not responding to you. Again, it's nothing to do with you. This is just how I deal with this part of me, okay? And some of you um, have reached out to me and I've been very short, um, spoken, very um, quick, let's say. Um, and again, that has nothing to do with you. That is just how I deal with stuff. So um, basically, I just want everyone to know that I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing much better now. I'm getting back into um, the swing of things. And, like, for those of you who know me, too, like, I do this for, like, a living. Like, this is what I do. I write. I 
um, dabble and stuff. I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And when I um, go through a period where I'm really down, everything drops. Like my work drops, everything drops. So when I start feeling better and start picking things back up, I have to bust my ass like crazy to be able to get back to a point to where I can fucking live, you know? So, um, a lot of, I don't know. I, I'm just trying to say that, um, I hope I can start being really, um, open and chummy with everybody again soon. Um, but I just want to apologize for any, anyone's feelings who have been hurt because of how I deal with my shit is basically what I'm getting at with that. So <clears throat> with that said, um, all sorts of fun stuff going on. So, um, oh yeah, the paperback, this is like, Hey, I'm going back to other stuff now. And now that we're done talking about stuff that makes me have feelings, um, I'm going to be putting out um, paperback copies of all these again um, with updated shit in them and updated covers, or at least my fucking name on them, um, a little bit at a time. Those take a little more work um, in the formatting department, and I am not a genius, um, regardless of what people say. So that does take me a little bit. Um, I'm going to be putting together the second Poetic Anarchy book. Um, and I'm hoping that'll be out next week. That's the plan. That's the goal. So, um, yeah. So if you guys have any ideas um, that you would like to share with me for the join thing, um, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Um, and other than that, I think that's it. And um, just later this week... Um, get ready for that Bukowski chat book, um, review. And, um, yeah, so I guess that's it. So, um, run on over to IHateMattWall.com. Take a look at the things, the, the things I posted. And if you go over to Patreon, you get, um, stuff up there before you get it on my site. So right now on Patreon, I think, um, some of the things that have gone up lately, um, chapters of the fingering the mundane audiobook I put up there um, for patron members and um, a new poem called silicone thoughts that won't be available to the general public until next week so um, oh and I'm going to put so by the time this comes out this is I should have said this at the beginning but um, since I was going through the um, short stories the dead dame on the floor collection for the Hank Bradshaw stuff. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with my hard-boiled dick, um, I'm going to be putting up the story, the code, on my website. And that's basically kind of like the first short story. It wasn't the first one I wrote, but it was the. F it should be probably the first thing you ever read if you're wanting to get into him as a character and how he ticks and all that stuff. So that will be up... Um, on the site by the time this video comes out. So go take a look at that. And I guess that's all. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.